Hey. The beat go off? Hey. Hey. I up it, then my heat go off? Bang. If you're new, make sure you hit that sub button and turn on notifications on so you don't miss no bangers. But anyway, shout out to the bro Cash Ben, because this is really going to help y'all a lot, especially if y'all doing that cap breaker glitch, man. We finna get y'all the championship bonus and the Hall of Fame bonus. So if you're doing the cap breaker glitch, if you're doing the badge glitch, this is pretty much the best way to do it. And I highly doubt anybody has showed y'all this exact way to do it so far. So y'all be sure to hit that like button, man. I'm going to continue dropping new glitches. And y'all know they got to be Densky certified. Now, some of y'all might be wondering what I'm doing right now. Now, I'm simply simming all my games till I go to the playoffs because I created a new player just to show y'all this glitch. And I need to get to the championship game, the very last championship game at that, the elimination game. So the quickest way to do that is to sim through all my games. Now, if you're already in a regular season, if you're already in the playoffs, it's going to be a lot quicker for you to get to that game. But for me, I started from a new player. And I went to the Warriors, but y'all don't have to create a new player. If you already have a player, that's cool. Y'all can get to the championship however y'all want. Y'all can play so y'all get to the game. Y'all can sim. Now I'm on the Warriors, so it's going to be easier for me to sim through the playoffs. And I knew I could trust the Warriors, but simming out every game since I'm on a new player. And I can't really make a difference as a 60 overall. So I pretty much just simmed out every game till I got to the finals. You know what I'm saying? So I got to the last finals elimination game. That's pretty much what I did. So... I'm not going to keep doing that, showing y'all that process, but I will just show y'all that with this 60 overall, and I didn't play not one single game, we did make it to the finals. Of course, we are in the Warriors. We up against the Celtics. Now, you want to cut the game on Hall of Fame. This is when the glitch really starts, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all want to get the Hall of Fame bonus, and then y'all want to get the championship game bonus. Because when you win the championship, you get an additional bonus. So you want to play in the game. And this, from this point forward, it's going to work like the badge glitch has already been working for us. And y'all going to see how many my points I get for the small amount of time I was in the game. Now, since the cap breaker glitch works only once every 24 hours, if I was y'all, I would put it on 12-minute quarters and go to work. I would run the stats up, try to get as many my points as possible. Because that will help you take full advantage of the badge glitch and the cap breaker glitch. Now, if you need to get your badges... The badge will let you work every time. Your badges will increase every time. But if you need your cap breaker, like I said, it's once every 24 hours. And if you do not like playing my career like me, and I know a lot of y'all said y'all were going to do the cap breaker glitches. Y'all don't like playing my career. So that's cool. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be beneficial for a lot of y'all, like I said, even more beneficial than the last one I posted. But then again, I also know some of y'all don't want to wait 24 hours. And that's cool too, you know. But it's understand, it's still useful to have the option to do it because some days you might not play the game as much some days you might not want to play my career on that player you might even want to make a new build and don't even feel like grinding on the build and this would be an excellent way every day you could just load up into the championship game be zone do the glitch you to be getting badge progress and my points towards your cap breaker that could be super useful but like i said for my guys out there that don't like playing too much my career like me and you just got a player that you could just take your time and do this on. This is great, bro. This is great. Especially if you have more than one player. It's going to be wonderful. You know what I'm saying? The bonuses are lovely, and it's not even hard to do, bro. After you get to the championship game, it's cake. Now, of course, you want to be up by, like, 11 or more in the fourth quarter. But, you know, when the time gets down super low in the fourth quarter, I've noticed it. Not all the time. It has to be 11. But you definitely need to win. You do not need to be down by 11. You just need to be up enough points to where it lets you to ask out to sim with VC. But you don't want to ask out to sim with VC yet. After you already done ran your stats up and worked on your badges and ran those my points up, you want to save and quit my career. And as you can see, I have two points, one rebound, and one foul. And I'm going to save and quit my career. And y'all going to see how many my points I get for that. Matter of fact, I didn't even make a field goal. I got two free throws. Now, like I said, it's going to work the same as the original badge glitch we gonna go ahead and um quit the app and load back in and y'all gonna see how many my points i get for get hitting two free throws and getting one rebound bro i barely played in the game i barely seen the court and i just want y'all to imagine the potential the amount of my points y'all could get if y'all was really out there playing doing those moves to give you the most my points the most progress towards your badges possible man y'all gonna really run it up out here man I know a lot of y'all going to take advantage of this, bro. I already know because it's just too easy to do, bro, especially in the championship game, man. Like, y'all just got to trust the process. And even though I'm showing y'all this, 
I still feel like there's a way to make this better. You know what I'm saying? Just know there's always room for improvement. Every time I see a glitch or find a glitch, immediately I start thinking of ways to make it better. You know what I'm saying? So it could be easier for y'all. More than anything, I want them to be worthwhile and I want them to be easy to follow. I want y'all to know how to do them step by step and I want them to work on both consoles. And I just want y'all grind to be easier, man. I don't want y'all grind to be easier, especially for some of y'all who don't have as much time as some of us, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody has a lot of time to just play a lot of my career. I know a lot of us probably even on the Apex Legends right now, so this is really good if you're playing Apex Legends and you ain't trying to play too much my career, but you still wanna, you know, switch from 2K from time to time, bro. Just, it's, you gotta have a nice balance, man. You gotta have a nice balance of the game. You don't wanna have no slaw my player out there with no badges, cause when you come back to the park, bro, and you trying to run, but you don't want to be out there like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, as you can see, man, we done won the championship 60 overall. I just made this my player, man. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now. So I stayed up to about 2 o'clock in the morning trying to win a championship just so I could show y'all how many mind points, man, I'm about to get. So y'all definitely hit that like button. And as you can see, I'm going to get Hustle Rebounder Progress. I'm going to get the championship DNA badge. You can see the mind points for the NBA championship, man. Nearly 8,000 my points for that alone. That's a lot of my points. Not to mention the Hall of Fame difficulty bonus. And then keep in mind we're in the championship. So the opponent strength is going to be up there. I got 13,000 for two free throws and a rebound. Imagine if y'all start going crazy, bro. It's going to be super easy for y'all to run it up. Just keep in mind the cap breaker glitch works every 24 hours. And you can keep repeating the badge glitch. So if you need your badges, you you good. Now... As you're walking to the locker room or after you get in the locker room, it doesn't matter. There's no rush. You can go to manage game and add-ons and delete the save data from console on Xbox. I will post the steps at the end of the video so y'all can follow those along because I know a lot of y'all like that. On PS4, you're going go to go to application, save data management. Um, choose USB if you don't have PlayStation Plus. If you have PlayStation Plus, upload the files to the cloud. And it's pretty much the same thing. I have a video on PS4 because I know a lot of y'all always ask me for that video. But, and I tell y'all, bro, that I literally posted a video on it showing it from the PS4 perspective if y'all need it. I mean, if y'all have Xbox, you know we good over here. Y'all know I'm going to show y'all how we rocking because I'm on Xbox. But y'all PS4 guys, just know I'm looking out for y'all too, man. In the future, man, who knows? I might probably will get a PS4 so I can show y'all how to do it on both consoles. Just because that would be a power move. And y'all know how I'm rocking, man. Y'all know I got to look out for everybody. So that could be coming, you know, 2K19, 2K20. We'll see. It's coming at some point, though, most definitely. But I'm going to load back in to emphasize that the badge progress will increase. But your um, cap breaker, my points progress will not until 24 hours. So you will not see that go up until 24 hours from the first time you did it. So that's why it's important for y'all to get play on 12 minute quarters, play on Hall of Fame, and go crazy. Get as many my points as you can possibly get. Because if you get if you get as many as you can, it'll make the glitch more worthwhile than if you're just getting a few points. If you're just getting a small amount of points, it's not gonna be as worth it. But if you're getting a lot by the bunches, it would definitely be worth it. I would strongly advise y'all for y'all bills to look up the best rep methods for y'all bills. And do those, apply those to this glitch, y'all gonna be straight, bro. Cause y'all could be getting over a hundred thousand or close to a hundred thousand my points per game. As y'all can see, I got thirteen thousand. I didn't even do anything, bro. I literally got one rebound and hit two free throws and got thirteen thousand my points. So y'all definitely could get close to a hundred thousand, if not over a hundred thousand, if not well over a hundred thousand. If you have a fire rep method to get a lot of my points, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of good videos on YouTube where people are getting lots and lots of my points. So I strongly recommend to take advantage of those and apply those to your specific build. Now, there's way too many builds out there for me to just tell y'all what methods to work because, you know, certain, each build has its own specific method for my points and badges and whatnot. And depending on what you're working on, if you're working on badges, that'll help you as well. But right now, we're talking about this cat breaker glitch. And we trying to help y'all run it up and get these attribute upgrades as fast as possible. Without really playing, as you see, my my points cap breaker did not move. You'd have to wait another 24 hours and then that will work. Now, I would like to let y'all know 
Normally, I go to the team practice facility, do a drill, and then after that, delete the save data or go to application save data management on PS4. But since I'm in one year, they're going to try and make me sign a new contract first. So I'm going to post the steps so I can handle. I know a lot of y'all like looking at the steps and having them to read. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn those notifications on. Until next time, man, Denski out.